What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Christian Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. Oh, had a freaking tongue tie. Hope everybody is doing all right tonight. For real, for real. This is uh, Taurus's Oracle card reading for the sign of Taurus. This could resonate with Taurus in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Behavior, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. I got uh, two spirit messages in as I was meditating on your Oracle card reading uh, energy, Taurus. And um, the first one I heard traveling was the first one. And the second one, I heard a new vehicle. So you plug it in how it fits in your own life. So traveling, um, that could be you traveling um, to person, people, place, family, situation, organization, um, or someone you're connected to, um, or you traveling with somebody. You plug it in how it fits. And then a new vehicle. So that could be you getting a new vehicle, or you purchasing a new vehicle for someone, or someone you're connected to purchasing a new vehicle. You plug it in how it fits. It's some kind of new vehicle energy. Um, so you plug that, plug it in, help it. It's holy crap. Okay. Um, thanks everybody for all the likes, subscribes, and shares. You guys are just the bomb for com. You really, really freaking are. I appreciate each and every one of you guys, even my haters, for real, for real, for real. I just want to throw that out there. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. Um, PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. Spirit messages you have signed for us. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, Taurus, if you wouldn't mind sharing these videos uh, via word of mouth and um, social media, I'd very much appreciate it. I'm just saying, just saying, saying. And these are psychic intuitive messages, so it's very important to only take the messages um, that resonate and leave the rest. I just want to make that very abundantly clear as well. Okay, number 41, 6, or 38 may be very significant. 41, 6, or 38. These could be ages. They could be jersey numbers. Um, they of you or somebody you're connected to. Of course, this could be you or somebody you're connected to. Ages, jersey numbers, um, lottery numbers, passcode numbers, security uh, code numbers, um, any kind of significant number in any shape, form, or fashion in your life. You plug it in how it fits. Uh, you have air sign energy in here so with your animal oracle card. So you could be dealing with the air sign, possibly. Um, if you are, they could have Gemini, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, Bid, Haven, or Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it fits in your own life. Nightingale spirit, love is all around. A particular Taurus is getting a huge wake-up call that they have been severely blackmailed, and they are right. Severely. This Tauren is about to turn things around in a huge way to benefit themselves. Okay, so you plug it in how it fits in your own life, um, if this resonates with you. I heard a particular Tauren has been uh, blackmailed, so... Um, that you realize you've been severely blackmailed. Now, hopefully this is just for one of you guys. Hell, it might be for one. It might be for 500. I don't know. You plug it in how it fits, but hopefully just for one. But um, I heard for one of you guys, you realize you've been severely blackmailed, and I heard you were right. You 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 were blackmailed. Um, severely blackmailed. Severely. So severely. You were severely fucking blackmailed, but I heard um, you're getting a huge wake-up call, and you're realizing this. So whoever this is, you're highly fucking intuitive. Um, you're highly intuitive, but you probably got yourself involved in such heavy shit, whatever the fuck it was, um, that you felt like there was no way out in some type of way, but I heard you're about to turn it around to benefit yourself, basically 180, so that's good. Um, so you, it sounds like you're in black male energy, or you were, um, you plug it in how it fits, um, but you're about to turn it around to benefit yourself. A Libra is going to ever regret what she has done.
Okay. I heard a Libra is going to um, very much regret what she's done. So you're dealing with Libra energy. You plug it in how it fits. Libra energy came in very strong in um, Pisces reading too. So um, somehow Libra, uh, I think a Libra for some of you guys um, was the one blackmailing you if this resonates with you. Because uh, I heard a Libra is going to severely regret what she has done. So uh, I strongly feel the Libra is the one that has blackmailed you, but you plug it in how it fits in your own life. If that resonates with you. Love is really all around you. Universal love. Know this. Don't let people treat you like shit. Oh, okay. I heard universal love is all around you. It's all around you. Don't let people treat you, treat you like shit. So whoever this resonates with, I think a Libra that could be masculine or feminine, have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, or Jupiter. But uh, a Libra was treating like shit. Um, for some, you could be in relationships with them, some situationships, some third-party energies, some just the blackmailing. Maybe it was a business deal gone bad and they blackmailed the fuck out of you. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's a baby mama and they want their six Chanel bag. Hell, Fuck, I don't know. Um, I'm not a baby mama, and I've paid my own bills for 10 years now. So I don't know how that shit works. But if that resonates with you, uh, she's blackmailing the fuck out of you, um, but you're realizing it, and you're about to turn it around. Uh, he or she. I didn't hear she. Um, I just used a female as an example. But he or she, whoever this chick a do or chick a dude is, um, they're blackmailing the fuck out of you. But you're about to turn it around. I heard their leaper is going to regret ever blackmailing you basically so um and i heard universal love is all around so know that universal love is all around universal love is basically love of the universe so it doesn't mean somebody going you know going in and banging them till the cows come home i just want to make that clear that's not universal love we're not talking about free love 60 style up at woodstock uh, we're talking about love of the universe so you know like friendly Friendly people out in the world um, that are helpful and supportive and um, that will help you, um, hopefully with this blackmailing energy. Um, supportive, helpful people that will help you get out of some deep, dark, dooku shit possibly for at least one of you guys. Um, if not, if that doesn't resonate with you, it's just helpful people in the world. Helpful, generous, loving, supportive people. Uh, whoever this is for, I feel you've been around very dark energies. Very dark energies for some they could dabble in the dark arts. But very dark energies that just want to take advantage of you. Um, and I'm serious about that. Um, but no, there's very helpful, loving, supportive people in the world. Um, I feel at least one of you guys need to hear that. Beauty. Sexual dreams. Heavy downloads. Dreams of building a life together. Okay, my God, so you plug it in out this Taurus. Man, we're getting deep up in here. So I heard sexual dreams, heavy downloads, and dreams of building a life together. So you plug it in in your life, how it fits, however that resonates for you or somebody you're connected to. But we have the beauty card. So um, sexual dreams. Now, that's aesthetic beauty. That's just obviously physical beauty, aesthetic beauty. Um, so you're ha either you or somebody you're connected to is having sexual dreams um, of somebody. Just saying. So that's aesthetic beauty, physical, outward beauty. Um, that's. Outward beauty is fucking nice, but I hope this person has a nice inside too, because otherwise you'll get stuck with a, if it really does happen in 3D, uh, you'll get stuck with some evil ass fucking karmic, and then you'll wind up in damn courtroom, courthouse in freaking five years, and all your fucking bank accounts will be drained. Um, possibly. I'm not saying that's the case, but beware of karmic energy. Somebody's having severe sexual dreams. You or somebody you're connected to. Severe sexual dreams of somebody. I just hope they have a good inside too is all what I'm trying to make. And then um, heavy downloads. So that heavy download energy, now that is from the spiritual realm. That is spiritual realm. So clair, um, clairaudience, that could be hearing from spirit. That could be clairvoyance, seeing visions from spirit. 
or that could be psychic medium abilities, connecting with spirit on the psychic medium realm, um, or dreamscape. Somebody is heavily, heavily connected in the dreamscape, at least one of you guys. So um, just saying, just saying, you plug it in in your life, however that fits. But some kind of heavy download energy, whether it's clear audience, clairvoyance, or dreamscape energy. Um, and what was the other one? Um, there was another one. Oh, building a life together. So uh, I think you're uh, either having downloads of building a life together with somebody or you're dreaming of building a life together with somebody or you are cognitively um, air sign energy contemplating building a life together with someone. Um, so you're seeing the beauty in that. You're seeing the beauty in building a life together with someone. That's how I feel with this. But you plug it in your life how it fits. So you've got... In, you've got actual internal beauty and you've got external beauty in here. Um, I feel intuitively with this card in this situation, but you plug it in how it fits. Ambition. A particular Taurus is about to really, really gain lots of motivation and, and super ambition very soon. Seeing things much more clearly, much more. Okay, so, well, that's good. Um, whoever this is for, it could be for one of you guys or 500, hopefully for 500, you plug it in how it fits. But I heard a particular Taurus is about to gain lots of desire, drive, and motivation, and lots of ambition uh, because they're seeing things much more clearly, much more clearly now, much more. So you plug in your life how it fits. So ambition, desire, drive, motivation, that's like fire sign energy. Um, you know, we all have fire sign energy in us, fire, earth, air, and water, no matter what. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, 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 Jupiter, Sun, Moon, Lord. So I just want to make that clear. Um, but you're about to gain some super fire sign fucking energy. Um, I think in a positive way. Significant meeting with the financial institution soon, for one. And for one, authorities. Okay. I heard significant meeting with the financial institution um, for at least one of you guys. And for one of you guys, it's a meeting with authorities. So um, that's the, I think, that, Phil, that's the ambition energy to get this meeting going with the financial institution. It could be a bank. It could be a credit union. You plug it in how it fits in your own life. Um, and for some, now that could be work, employment related. Or it could be business related. For some, that could be the new vehicle energy. Maybe you're um, getting um, a loan through your um, financial institution. Or for some, you could be employed at a bank, possibly. You could be a mortgage loan processor. You could be a teller. Um, you could be administration. You could be a CEO. You plug it in how it fits if you, do, if you are employed at the bank. But some kind of significant meeting at a financial institution bank or credit union um if that resonates with you and one of you guys um meeting with authorities and for some of you guys it could be both possibly you plug it in how in your life how it fits woman dealings or relationship with a woman a particular torn is about to cut off one particular feminine energy in their life for some two or more Very bad for them. Okay. So you plug it in how it fits in your own life. I heard a particular torrent is about to cut off some of you guys, one particular femme energy, some two or more. Um, whoever these femme energies are in your life, I heard they're very bad for you. Prostitute energy for some. Some abusive users and relationships. Money, money, money. Okay, so you, ooh, so you plug it in how it fits. So for some of you guys, these women you're cutting off, some they're prostitutes, and for some they are abusive users and relationships. I heard money, money, money. So um, they're very narcissistic, um, and all they think about is money. 
uh, maybe their six Chanel bag, just saying. I mean, I don't, I just use that as an example, but obviously. Um, and for some, they're just straight up prostitutes. So, you know, like $50 make you holler kind of energy, uh, but you plug it in how it fits. And for some, they are very fake friends, very fake. This Taurus has become very highly intuitive and realized this. Okay, and for some of you guys, these women are very fake friends, very fake. You have become very highly intuitive and, and you've realized this. So your intuition is spiked and you've realized these women in your life are very, um, they're very fake. They're friend of me uh, energy. So they'll talk nicey nice to your face, but talk shit behind your back. And I don't blame you for cutting those bitches out. For real, for real. I don't, I don't at all. You, you may, do you know how many of those people I've had to cut out in my life? I don't. Just saying. But it's good. It's good for your mental health. It's good for your. Um, it's good for your life in general, because you don't have the gossipy Gail or gossipy Gary energy in your life. In this case, gossipy Gail. Just saying. And one significant meeting with a particular feminine energy professional is going to be very positive in Torin's life. Very positive. And one Torin is thinking about reaching out romantically to one particular feminine energy. You've got a lot of fem energies in here. So you plug it in how it fits for us. So one of you guys, you're going to have one significant meeting with a particular uh, a professional meeting with a fem energy. It's going to be very positive and significant, significant for you. So you plug that in how it fits. And one of you guys is thinking about reaching out romantically to a fem energy. So a lot of, some cutting off, some professional, positive professional meeting and energy and some possible reaching out for romantical interest energy. Um, okay. You plug it in, help is. Flag, do not uh, be tempted to lower your standards. A particular Taurus is going to be very, very, very tempted sexually soon. Very, very, very tempted. This person knows what they're doing. Know this. Okay, so you plug it in how it fits. Um, I heard one of you guys is going to be very, very, very um, tempted, very tempted sexually soon. This person knows what they're doing. Close to the ground. Bearing it all. Oh, shit. Whoa, okay. Well, there you go. I heard close to the ground, bearing it all. So, well, you just can't get more obvious than that. <laughs> um, so you plug it in how it fits. So you're going to, whoever this is for, you can be masculine or femme. But obviously, um, it's a feminine energy. Sexual meeting with a femme energy. Just saying, we didn't hear that, but just saying, just saying, close to the ground. That reminds me of that song, Versace on the Floor. If anybody's ever heard that, just saying, just saying. <laughs> um, but close to the ground, I heard. You're going to be very tempted sexually. So, and I heard they're, they know what they're doing. And obvious, okay, I'm a chick, okay? Just saying, obviously. Um, if I am with you and I, you know, and I bear it all close to the ground, there's a reason I'm bearing it all close to the ground. Just saying, just saying. I mean, not that I'm out there burying my clothes to the ground because I'm most certainly not. But I'm just saying it from a feminine energy's perspective. Whoever this is, this chick is about to just basically just, it's like having a robe on and just bearing it down to the ground and showing you their bare ass naked body. But they're doing it for a reason is what I'm trying to say. Close to the ground, Versace to the floor. They are doing it for a fucking reason, and it's to tempt you sexually. Um, so whoever this is, they know you're sexually attracted to them, or they want you to be sexually attracted to them, and they're doing it for sexual reasons, for manipulation purposes. For some, it could be that very um, manipulative relationship, toxic relationship. Uh, at least one Taurus is in um, romantically that uh, obviously is very sex-based and money-based. Um, you plug it in how it fits. I heard do not be tempted to lower your standards. So I think it's like, I think it's for some of you guys, it's you cutting that chick off and then her coming back 
and versaging it to the motherfucking ground to lure your ass back in for the sixth or seventh or eighth Chanel bag. Bro, bro. A Taurus is having a huge wake up call. Okay, I heard a Taurus is having a huge wake up call. So you're having a huge wake up call about something, but you plug it in how it fits. I mean, I'm serious. I'm I'm serious. I'm serious about that. Um, I feel somebody might need to hear that. A particular Taurus is about to notice rapid aging on a particular feminine energy soon. Rapid aging. Okay. All right. Whoever you are, Taurus, you can be masculine or feminine. But I heard you're going to notice rapid aging, rapid aging on a particular fem energy soon. So you plug it in your life, how it fits, however that resonates in your life. Rapid aging means accelerated um aging process so um it obviously i think it's an adult i didn't hear a child so it has to be an adult so accelerated aging aging process so probably wrinkles uh, if they don't have any wrinkles they're going to gain wrinkles and probably a lot of them uh sagging skin it could be hair loss it could be um jowl neck it could be um maybe they had nice perky breasts and now they're to the ground um, or their butt gets saggy or they get like a lot of cellulite or they start getting cellulite i mean everybody's on diff um, different ages and different stages in their skin um elasticity and growth so you have to plug in your life how it fits but some kind of rapid aging energy you're going to notice on a fem energy you have got fem energy very 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 strong in here very strong i just want to throw that out there Okay, we're done. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. Really? About to display important news soon. Newscaster. Okay, so you plug it in how it fits. I heard really about to display important news soon, newscaster. So you plug it in how it fits. We are going so long, my gosh, for 22, 23 minutes. So maybe you're a newscaster and you're displaying important news or you are displaying important news to a newscaster so they can display important news. You could be a producer. You could be um, a citizen of the world calling in to the news uh, station. Um, you could be the weatherman. Hell, I don't know, but... <laughs> Some kind of displaying important information to an, um, and newscasting. So for some, you could be the actual newscasters um, out there displaying the news to the world in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. Or you could be a concerned citizen calling into the news station. Um, and that's the newscaster um, energy. You plug it in how it is. All right, I love you guys. I hope this helped. Um, Please share the videos. I'd appreciate it um, if you think anyone could benefit from these messages. Love you guys so much and namaste.